What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we got some Detroit Lions news. Now, this news just kind of came out recently, and this is that the Lions have added another coach to their staff. Plus, we have an update on the Matthew Stafford situation. So let's get it started. You no, know, I got a shout out, Dosa D, uh, man, because it was actually the first time I went live on YouTube. And, uh, you know, guys don't know Dosa D, uh, he put out a lot of good content for the Detroit Lions. Welcome everybody to another video. Glad you guys are here. Now I had another video that was planned to go up much earlier, but it didn't go up. I don't know why. I thought it would have uploaded like hours ago and it did not. So I came back to it and I was like, oh snap, it's not done yet. You guys are like, hey, where's the video? I, I don't know. I thought the video was going to be up by now, but it's not. So we have some other Detroit Lions news. I'll get that video up to you guys soon. I don't I don't know if that's going to come up tonight or tomorrow at this point, but I'll get that video soon to you guys. However, I want to touch on this Detroit Lions news. So the Lions continue to add to this coaching staff, which people are saying is very impressive right now for the Detroit Lions. Here's a quote that I've seen so far is that Dan Campbell is killing it right now as he's hiring his staff. He is landing some really good coaching candidates on the, his staff. And hey, that's what we were told was going to happen. So I'm glad that we're seeing that. Now, Dave Fipp is the most recent person to be added to our coaching staff. That is our new special teams coordinator. Now, Dave Fipp, initially we were declined when we wanted to interview Dave Fipp, but then they let him do it. And now he's in Detroit. Also, Deuce Staley from Philadelphia has joined Detroit. What's awesome about this is these guys aren't even taking promotions, right? They're just joining this staff. It's kind of impressive. Now, there are some ties. Dan Campbell and Dave Fipp did work together when Dan Campbell was in Miami. You know that, you know that connection is pretty important. But let's do a quick little background on who Dave Fipp is. We're going to talk about Fipp first, and then we'll just give you a little update on Matthew Stafford. So with Dave Fipp uh, going through his coaching tenure. Also, by the way, he's a former player. Just, just, hey, y'all were probably asking, is he a former? Yes, he is a former player. He was a former special teams player at Arizona. Boom. There you go. Hey, that's perfect. Former special teams player is a special teams coordinator. Makes sense. Uh, but his background's pretty large. Um, at the college ranks, he worked both on the defensive side of the ball and with special teams. And then the NFL, he started as an assistant special teams coach with the San Francisco 49ers. He spent a few years there. Then he joined Miami. And with Miami, he was the assistant special teams coach. And then Philadelphia gave him an opportunity as the special teams coordinator from 2013. And he's held that position all the way through 2020. And there's some really impressive numbers that Philadelphia he has put up pretty consistently since the time he has joined. Since he has joined, they are second in the league during that time span in special teams touchdown. They're second in total blocks, whether that's field goal blocks, pump blocks, second total blocks, and they're the fifth least penalized special teams units. That means they're very disciplined. So a lot of really good numbers there. Now, when I was diving into the numbers, I was taking a look at average kick return yards. And what I've noticed is they're returning Hasn't been as good as our kick and punt returns recently, but that's because we have a guy named Jamal Agnew. And uh, Jamal Agnew, you know, he's a he's an all-pro return man, okay? Jamal Agnew's all right. He, he's kind of good. They didn't have a Jamal Agnew. But defensively, against kick and punt returns, they've been better than us six of the last eight years, all right? The only two years they were better than us come in 2017 and this past season, 2020. Now, Braden Coombs, you're asking where he went. He went to join Atlanta. So only two years of the last eight were we a better special team group and kick and punt returns defensively than Philadelphia was. So that's a good number if you want a little bit of a feel good note. Now he's going to have a little bit of work cut out for him. We'll see what the Lions do with it. But there's a couple of question marks. First one obviously is Matt Prater. All right. Will Matt Prater be the future in Detroit or not even the future? I shouldn't even say that. Will he be here next season? All right. I should leave that. Will Matt Prater be here next season? We know he wants to be here, but he struggled a little bit last year. He may miss some kicks that he usually makes. He's extremely clutch. Just missed some kicks that he usually makes. So that'll be important. If not, he has been, he has developed kickers over the past. So that will be very important. And also, will Jamal Agnew get re-signed? Jamal Agnew, like I said, he's a really good return man. The question is, will Lions re-sign him? I think you re-sign him. All right. Even if you don't use him that much as a wide receiver, I think you re-sign Jamal Agnew. The guy is just too talented, in my opinion, as a return man. So I would absolutely bring him back. And I would expect Don Muehlbach, Muehlbach, excuse me, Muehlbach, I said Muehlbach. I would expect Don Muehlbach to be back as our long snapper. So there should be consistency there, but you never know. The Lions have brought in some competition. Heck, we drafted Jimmy Lands with Bob Quinn, which some people say is his worst worst pick ever. It's not a good one, I'll tell you that. Every time you doubt him, he seems to show up. So uh, who really knows if that kind of thing will happen? But he's got connections. He's staying in the same role. He's joining Detroit. The coaching staff is really strong, and it's another 
former player, which is exciting, and he has a pretty strong resume. Now, with the Matthew Stafford update, you're probably thinking, what's going on there? I don't know a lot. You know, there's rumors out there about there's a lot of teams that are interested, like I said, at least fans of teams. There's a lot of teams interested. However, the most recent news that we have is that teams have already started reaching out to the Detroit Lions looking for a trade for Matthew Stafford. So they're already in talks. Now, the Lions lost a little bit of leverage because, you know, at this point, Matthew Stafford basically has to be traded. But if there is a bidding war, we should get a pretty nice return. I don't know what we're going to get in return. You know, hopefully we get a ton in return. Give me trade let's get a huge return. The most recent thing we have been told is that teams are already reaching out for Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford has also put his house back up on the market. You know, he put it out, I think years ago, he put it up on the market. Now he put it up there again, listing it at 6.5 million, which is a lot of money. But in all fairness, they do have a basketball court in his house. So, uh, yeah, I could see why you would pay that much. Like, seriously, like he's got a bat. They showed those hot pictures. I'm like, dang, Matthew. Hey, maybe I'll pick it up. Should I buy his house? Man, I, you know what? I might be able to buy, like, one sidewalk in front of his house. Like, maybe. I, I don't even know if they have sidewalk at that kind of house. Okay, they probably have, like, fake sidewalks that, like, move in and out and stuff. I don't know what they got over there. I don't know what $6.5 million houses have. But either way, uh, Matthew Stafford, you know, there are teams that are already interested. So, I guess that's a good sign when you're talking about what return we could potentially get. But welcome, Dave Fipp, to the Detroit Lions coaching staff. Good to have you. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And that other video will be out at some point. I'm not sure if I'll do it tonight or tomorrow. It's already done, but I don't want to put it out at 11 o'clock. Thank you for watching, and I'm out.